Hey guys, what's going on? Um, we're going to go over the new cards that are available. That is the new Goku cards, Doken Awakening, the new Great Ape, Turles Doken Awakening, and the new Movie Boss Leader, Turles Doken Awakening. Now, I actually got about 15, 20 minutes into the video when I was doing the review before, uh, and I realized that I had my uh, this view on for Dokkan Battle Builder, and I had it on for the entire video. So I'm doing the whole thing over again, so, oh man, pain in the butt. Anyway, uh, with that being said, I'm probably not going to use that view anymore because I've made that mistake once before and it takes way too long for me to redo all of this. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and jump into the review. As always, the Undokan forms, we're only going to go over their leader ability, super attack, and passive skill because there's no real reason to go over anything else as link skills typically stay the same. So first things first, the Weight of Hope Goku. Leader abilities, intelligence type, enemy attack, and defense minus 40%. Really good, useful leader ability, um, it, depending on the type of team you run. You could honestly run a full support team for physical units uh, with like one nuker with him as a double lead, and you should be able to do really good. You have a whole bunch of key orb manipulation, you could run him for the key orb manipulation, or if you have one really good hard hitting unit, um, and then everyone else for key support and attack support to make sure that they hit very, very hard. We might maybe one day we'll talk about a good team building guide for this specific Goku. Uh, other than that, we're just going to stick to this video really short with linking skills with these guys and go with full movie team building guide at the end. Anyway, this one is an SSR who does extreme damage to the enemy, lowers defense. Uh, extreme damage really sucks. Thank God. Thank God. Thank Kami that he has a Doken Awakening. He no longer has extreme damage. Passive skill is attack plus 10% for every keyword obtained. Um, and that's about it. He Doken Awakens with 35 of these Turles Medals. Now, the Turles Medals are available from the Wandering Darkness of the Universe Turles event. This is the new Doken event that's available for the new Turles I just dropped. Uh, pretty cool. I actually really like the, the, the whole over arc of the, the actual category. I really do like it. We've been waiting for it for a while. Um, though I think it was actually big bad bosses, not just movie bosses. But still, not really that horrible of a, of a unit overall. I really like it. Uh, anyway, this Goku Doken Awakens into Opposing Power Goku. His new leader abilities, intelligence types, uh, atta enemy attack and defense minus 43%. So almost 100% attack and defense reduction. Um, this guy might be really useful on Super Battle Road. Now, I'm pretty sure I've seen videos of someone taking on Super Battle Road with a double Goku lead and winning with HP regeneration and attack buffs. It just took forever. I think it took like eight hours to do or something like that. Well, whatever. I think it went over the time limit that the actual timer runs. But it worked and it allows you to win and you're almost a guaranteed win as long as you have not HP items, but I mean, you definitely want to bring them anyway, but like health regeneration units. So like Majin Buu can go on that team. And because he's not giving any type of boosts, you can bring whoever you want. You're literally just reducing the attack of the enemy with a double one of these leads by like by 86% at this time. The, the, the guy who was doing it was only 80%, but 86%, it's just, it's ridiculous. I mean, just bring a whole bunch of blockers and healers and you'll be fine and you'll definitely win. Anyway, Super Attack, Spirit Bomb, Supreme Damage, finally, uh, and greatly lowers the defense of the enemy. Passive skill, Spirit of the Tree of Might, attack plus 10%, and defense plus 20% for every key orb obtained. Link skills are Z Fighters, all in the family, in Fighter, Saiyan Warrior Race, prepared for battle, experienced fighters, and fierce battle. Now, personally, I don't really like his passive. They should have increased the attack by at least the, to at least 15%, in my opinion. Uh, personally, I would like to see 20%, but they did increase him to Supreme Damage. But he's just never going to be that great, I guess because his leader ability is kind of like broken uh, in the sense that the enemy will not do a lot of damage to you if you're running a double one of the leads. Uh, max stats are going to be HP of 97.56, an attack of 79.85, and defense of 43.01. His details are 12 key multiplier of 140%, and as I forgot to mention in my other video when I started to first time record this, and this video, you can increase this guy's super attack before you Doken Awaken him with any of these Gokus that are all free to play. Um, I think, yeah, actually they are. The, this event you have to wait to come around. This event you have to wait to come around. This one's always here. Just get him. He drops a lot, so you can get like four to five of them in a run, honestly. Uh, I think that he drops at least like, he drops at least one guaranteed, but he usually drops between th two to three. And I've seen him drop like four or five times in one run. Uh, I believe in, from off the top of my head memory. So you can go ahead and do that. It's 1% chance, but you can increase the super attack for free. Very easy, low, low stamina. You just run that event 100 times. Get a whole bunch of them Gokus and just keep feeding them in until you get them to super attack 10. Uh, it is possible. It's just a pain in the butt. It's definitely a grind fest. Overall, not a bad unit in terms of his leader ability. If you're trying to, if you don't care about, um, you know, using that on super battle road for the length of time that it's going to take you, or maybe you just don't have OP units to do it with. This guy will definitely make it easier for you. Damage reduction team, you know, keep that in mind. 
Uh, in terms of best linking buddies, he has so many at three or more. So we just did four or more, and there's only two of them. It is the ultimate Gohan and the agility Bardock over here uh, that you see. This is the one that Dokken awakens from the SR base form. Well, not base form, Super Saiyan Bardock and the uh, regular ultimate Gohan. So four or more, uh, it has the Goku clan, in fighter, Z warriors, and fierce battle. And then the um, uh, the Bardock has battle ethics, Saiyan, soldier, warrior, or experienced fighters, uh, prepared for battle, and fierce battle. Battle ethics, Saiyan, and Saiyan warrior, right? same, the same damn thing. Um, anyway, that's about it. When I'll just show you really quick when it's three or more. Just this is just like what it looks like, and I just didn't want to talk about that. That's just too much. If you want to know, you go ahead and do it. <laughs> um, anyway, we're gonna go over here for the mono physical team: LR Goku and Vegeta Angel, uh, the TUR variant of them. This Goku over here, which is the Korra Goku, uh, he doesn't really share good link skills here. It's, uh, flat out 700 boost, two key, and 50% defense buff. No attack buff. So I mean, he does link with him, but that's about it. Uh, Vegito, Super Vegito, he links with three key links with in fighter at prepared for battle and fierce battle. The LR Kid Gohan for three key links and the LR, well, the uh, TUR Physical Broly. So honestly, a lot of these guys are going to be a ha more than half. Of these guys are going to be primary units uh, that you're going to run on a team. I mean, these guys is definitely a primary unit you will run. The Super Vegito is uh, Broly can be uh, LR Gohan can be. So it really depends on if you're going to run those two. These are two like one of those situations that it's a gray area it depends on who you're running on your team and what kind of links you're trying to run together but overall he does have some decent linking you know partners it's not like he's doing a crazy amount of damage anyway plus the only time i see him being on your team is if you're utilizing that leader ability um, anyway, that's it for him. Personally, again, leader ability is cool. I don't want to run a, like a five to six hour event, but for me to just get a win on Super Battle Road, I might consider it. So I might be reaching out uh, on Twitter or on Facebook to see if anyone wants to set him as a leader for me um, on the global side, just his Undokan form, obviously, to see if I can take on Super Battle Road with him. But anyway, we're going to move over to the Turles. Turles, uh, Decadent Saiyans, Turles, Giant Ape. Leader abilities, all types, key plus two, attack and defense plus 20%, super attack, kill driver, supreme damage, rare chance to stun, passive skill, low, born, and lethal, attack plus 70% when key is nine or more, rare chance to turn into a great ape. So honestly, he was not a bad unit when he came out. Attack plus 70% when key is nine or more is actually a really useful passive skill, so you can't really knock that. Um, he will Doken Awaken with 35 Turles Metals as well. Uh, when he Doken Awakens, he will Doken Awaken into uh, Degenerate Incursion Turles. Wow, that's just so negative. <laughs> uh, Giant Ape Turles. His leader ability is all types key plus 2 att HP attack and defense plus 30%. So he has a pretty useful leader ability for newer players who is tr who are trying to take on the older events. Um, I don't see him being that useful. Um, actually, you know what? He could be useful on all the 70% events. Uh, since he is an all types leader key plus two uh you find a friend with like um you know an extreme lead or something like that and you bring him uh his 70 you know what maybe even some of the 120 leaders if you find yourself like the new rose it might be a little bit more viable for you to actually take him on because i mean the 70 percent leads we took them on without any 70 percent leaders when they first came out here you have an hp attack and defense buff lead that's all that's all around so that's that's pretty good um, anyway, super attack, kill driver, supreme damage to the enemy, medium chance to stun. Pretty good, I like that, they upped his, his chance to stun. Passive skill, elite within the low class. Key plus 3, attack plus 90% when key is 9 or more. And since you're probably going to be running um, like a 6 key start, all you have to do is get 3 key for him to launch a super attack, and he gets a 90% attack buff, which is super useful. He also has a rare chance to turn into a great ape up to two times, which is, eh, it's up to you on how you think about that. Personally, I don't like the great ape mechanic because it throws off the flow of the battle, um, but it can be useful depending on the situation that you're in. Link skills are Destroyer of the Universe, Prepared for Battle, Thirst for Conquest, Big Bad Bosses, Transform, Saiyan Roar, and Fierce Battle. He has a good link skill set. Honestly, he really does. Categories are Low Class Warrior, Giant Movie Bosses. His max stats are HP of 9848, attack of 7727, and defense of 4577. Um, and he has a 12 key multiplier of 140%. His base attack when he transforms is 45,000. Um, honestly, honestly, pretty good unit. I really do like him. He, they, he wasn't bad when he first came out. He's not bad now. Um, in terms of best linking buddies, he has the agility Vegeta, grade A Vegeta for three key or for three link skills, big bad bosses, the transform link skill and saiyan roar which is 25 percent attack buff so together if, if he's 80 percent or below that's a 50 percent attack buff just between the two of them and two key which means if you're running a six key lead you only need one key in order for him to get a super attack off 
Uh, he also links with the Intelligence Baby, which is Big Bad Bosses, uh, Th Thirst for Conquest, Super Radiant, um, and Saiyan Roar. I think Super Radiant is actually Fierce Battle and Saiyan Roar. So that's what, man? That's a 50% and then 30, 80% attack buff when HP is 80% or below. Uh, there's no actual key that you have between the two of them, so that's going to kind of suck. But 80% attack buff plus his 90, dude, like he's going to be doing a lot of damage. Plus, so is his baby. Uh, this baby of Vegeta is actually pretty freaking useful. He is, when HP is 30% or more, attack plus 100%. Um, so for a great ape team or a transform team, these two are going to do really well together with it, with it, what they're doing. Um, in terms of a mono agility team, his best links are going to be with this Vegeta. Well, these two Vegetas over here. Let's actually zoom in a little bit more. Um, we have Rose, who he'll link with for three or more key or three or more link skills. Big bad bosses prepared for battle um, and fierce battle. Same thing with the other turtles, except the other turtles. And this is the new turtles, which we're going to talk about. These guys are best linking buddies. Um, big bad bosses. Um, ambition for or thirst for conquest prepared for battle breaking house of the universe um i forgot what the heck that one is 25 percent up and super radiant that's his actual um destroyer of the universe link skill it's actually interesting did i not does he not like show up here for three or more that's interesting um oh that's probably why big bad bosses um this is this is supposed to be everyone that i don't know why nothing why that, that was selected there we go wow he links a lot more with three or more so we're gonna go over here and bump this up to four Apologies, mid mid crisis over here. Um, so for his best linking buddies, he also links obviously with the uh, one turlus over here. We've got the other two turluses. So we have the agility or the, the technique turlus. Apologies, um, with what is that? 25, 50 percent attack buff, 65 percent total attack buff to key, and the support unit turlus, which is key. We'll see when HP is 50 percent or above. Uh, 50 percent total plus 15. So yeah, so these two are the same amount. Uh, honestly. He's not bad, you know. Obviously, he's he's obviously going to link with the other Tarlis because he's a great A Tarlis. So you have some good setups there. Um, anyway, a mono agility team, as we were saying before, the, he also links with this Vegeta Super Saiyan for Vegeta. Uh, the Twenty, that's 30, 40 percent attack buff and two key, not bad. Uh, personally, with this Vegeta, I prefer running Tora because Tora is a better unit uh, because he's super. He gets those buffs. Uh, he gets the HP and HP and attack. Well, it's really just the HP buff we're really worried about. He'll tank a little bit better as well. Uh, Vegeta, I think I said this before, saying Roar, Big Bad Boss isn't huge, so really good setup. He has some really good linking buddies. They're all meta, so it's not like it's bad. It's not like you're going to run him primarily, but he's not a bad unit to run if you're looking... I would give, you know, honestly, I would give this Turles uh, an A-tier run just because he has a really nice uh, attack buff on his passive, and he has that key buff, so it means he only needs three key to launch super, so it's really not that bad. Uh, but now moving over to the new Turles that's here, we're going to go over everything here. So um, let's go ahead and jump into that. This is gonna this next second part of the video, guys, is gonna be about 15 minutes. We have a lot of stuff to talk about. So you know, if you guys are ready, we're gonna go ahead and jump into a, a longer, uh, part, long the second longer part of the video. Uh, Crushing Force Turles. This is his SSR variant. His leader ability is Movie Bosses Category Key Plus Two, HP Attack and Defense Plus 120%, or Extreme Type Key Plus Two, HP Attack and Defense Plus 40%. His Super Attack. Kill Driver, immense damage to the enemy with a medium chance to stun. Passive skill, Universal Invasion, key plus two, attack plus 30% for all allies, or 35% for all allies. Super type enemies, attack minus 10%. So he, it's, it's interesting actually, because he is a leader, but he's a support unit. Now we're going to talk about him, we're going to keep him on primary rotation um, for the team building guides, uh, for at least one time, but he is not at all meant to be a primary unit he is a support unit it's very interesting what they did with that link skills are destroyer of the universe saiyan warrior race prepared for battle thirst for conquest brutal beatdown and big bad boss brutal beatdown is interesting attack plus 10 percent uh categories are low class warrior and movie bosses um and his max stats are going to be hp of 90 53 attack of 90 89 and defense of 46 75 12 key multiplier of 150 percent oh i forgot to mention um unlike the grade a variant you can farm him with the um, strength turlis that's available from the tree, uh, the strength of, or the tree of might event, uh, tree of might events over here. I talk about it a lot during all the videos that I do for my weekly grinds. You can go over here and you can get the turlis to drop. Uh, it looks like 15% drop on level seven, and with that 15% drop, you could also go to Baba Shop, feed all these uh, fruit of the tree and mites into the Baba Shop for additional points. Uh, it looks like 5% on level eight, which you really don't want to run if it's only a 5% drop, unless you need Icaruses. Um, 5% on level 9 as well for Fruit of the Tree of Might support item. Um, or you can go over here 30% on level 10, higher drop rate, plus you have the ability to still drop the uh, Baba Shop fodder 
Um, or if you're looking level 11, where you can get the Fruit of the Tree of Might event for 20% and 50%. Well, actually, that's just uh, actually not the card. That's a Doken Awaken for the Intelligence one. Uh, but yeah, so level 10 is really the one you're going to want to run for the highest chance for him to drop if you're just looking for the Turles. He will Doken Awaken with the Fruit of the Tree of Might Metal, so you're going to need them anyway. But once they max out, just go ahead to the Baba Shop and feed him in to, in order to Z-Awaken him. And that way you can increase his super attack without having to use Elder Kai's. And it's a very easy event to do. I think it's only like 15,000 Zenny to Doken Awaken or to Z-Awaken him. Um, anyway... You go ahead, Doken Wake, and this guy with 77 of his own medals into Explosive Evolution Turles. His leader ability is Movie Bosses Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 150%, which is ridiculous, or Extreme Type Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. That being said, he has so much room to make such amazing teams because of that secondary ability. Extreme Types, I mean... I, I'm going to go over it in a bit, but that opens it up because there's so many different possibilities that you could run. I'm going to show you the best ones in my opinion, but man, that's awesome. Super attack, meteor burst, immense damage to the enemy with a medium chance to stun. Um, his passive skill, trump card of universe destruction, universal destruction. Key plus three, attack plus 40% for all allies. Super type enemies, attack minus 15%, and when conditions are met, you eat the fruit of the tree of might. Uh, which means essentially it's like a transformation. Um, we're going to talk about that in a second. Link skills are Destroyer of the Universe, Sand Warrior Race, Prepared for Battle, Thirst for Conquest, Brutal, Beatdown, Big Bad Bosses, and Fierce Battle. Categories are Low Class Warrior and Movie Bosses. His max stats are HP of 11,410. Um, that's just that's just getting him to a level 100. Oh my, or 120. Jeez, that's ridiculous. Attack of 10,676, Power Creep, and Defense of 5825. Now... Honestly, you know the reason that they're doing this, the whole reason he has such ridiculous stats is because he has no good passive. His passive is only for support, it's not for primary, and he's a Doe Confessed exclusive, so they need to make him a little bit ridiculous. Uh, max base dupe system is 13,410 attack, I'm sorry, HP, attack is 12,676, and defense of 7825, so he's going to tank really well. And max unlocked dupe system is going to be HP of 16,000, attack of 15,600, and defense of 11,200. Ridiculous. 12 key multipliers, 150%. Clarification, Turles has a 25% chance to eat the fruit of the tree of might when HP is 80% or below. The power up will last for three turns. They did have an issue apparently where after his three turns was up, he would get an additional three turns. So yeah, I don't know if that was fixed. They said it was going to come out on the next update at the time of this recording. I'm pretty sure there wasn't a patch put out yet. So that's still a thing. So if you guys have him before the patch comes out, um, it's April 7th at this time, 2018. So if you're watching this like a year in the future, chances are that's already been patched. <laughs> uh, but yeah, at the time it did come out and that was a glitch. Anyway, um, Fruit of the Tree of Might power up. He gets uh, recovers 15% health at the start of the turn. Um, attack and defense plus 130%. Wow. Super type enemies at defense minus 80%. So like he eats the Fruit of the Tree of Might and he just becomes a powerhouse. Link skills are the same. Categories are the same. And stats should be the same. Um, so pretty much pretty awesome. He's just He just gets a ridiculous amount of power. Attack and defense plus 30%. Um, when the HP goes up, it's just awesome. Um, so when conditions are met, so I'm, I'm assuming here, 25% chance to eat the fruit of the tree might want HP. I don't know if that means once or if he can constantly do it. If you guys know at this time, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm pretty sure, I mean, it doesn't say only once, so maybe maybe it's not only once. Uh, uh, I think that's just him eating the fruit of the tree of might. So that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Whatever. Let's go over in, in terms of team building. In terms of best linking buddies in game, um, he links with the Massey and Bardock the best, the Tech OG Korra, and obviously the Great Ape variant of himself. With these two, he links, well, Cor the, the Massey and Bardock's a little bit different. Uh, Cruelty, Battle Ethic Saiyan, Prepared for Battle, and Fierce Battle. Korra is going to be Cruelty, Big Bad Bosses, and Thirst for Conquest, and Super Fierce Battle. Uh, that's just his best linking buddies. In terms of mono agility team, it's going to be the movie Korra. The I think this is the one from the World Tournament. Uh, Cruelty, Thirst for Conquest, Fierce Battle. Rose obviously is going to be um, big bad bosses. Prepare for battle, Fierce Battle. We already talked about the Turles like a hundred times. <laughs> He's like on every single one of these damn lists. The Great Ape Turles, big bad bosses, Thirst for Conquest, Prepared for Battle, uh, Destroyer of the Universe, and Fierce Battle. And then the Kid Boo, who we never really run. Cruelty, big bad bosses, and Fierce Battle. So that's it for the Mono Agility team. We're looking over here for his best linking buddies on a Big Bad Ball, on a Movie Boss team. 
you again have the Turles over here. You have the two Koras, which is four for the tech one. Um, I forgot which which one he actually has here. So let's see, it's well, we have to do the translation over here. So is it not Big Bad? Oh, so he has Big Bad bosses, fierce battle, thirst for conquest, and this is cruelty. So he doesn't have cruelty, the physical one, as compared to this guy. But you would probably want to run the physical one anyway. Uh, the movie Turles is a uh, core we already talked about. The two Janembas, the physical, yeah, the strength and the intelligence one. Cruelty, big bad bosses, and fierce battle. Same thing on both of them. And then you have the three different Brolies. The TUR, the two TURs, and the LR Broly. Um, we will be talking about an LR-based team, or a team with LRs on it, then one without. So, battle ethic same, prepared for battle, fierce battle. I'm pretty sure that's the same. Yeah, same here, and same here. Yep. So those are the best movie Link bosses. Obviously, you're going to want him with this Turles over here, the Great Ape Turles, if you're trying to have him on primary rotation. This Turles isn't that bad to run on the team anyway. He is a pretty damn good unit to have. Uh, and I guess Korra at some point if you want to have him on there as well. Uh, there is no key there, but it's nothing but attack buff, so it's pretty freaking phenomenal. Now, in terms of what we have available here for him to link with... Sorry, the damn uh, thing is screwing up a little bit. Um... We have this, well, we're going to take his his Undoken form. All right, and he, the Undoken form is just a placeholder for, like, the friend that you're bringing. Uh, we're going to bring him over here for, like, I guess, a support unit. Um, and then we're going to bring up the uh, Brolies. So, uh, in terms of bringing LRs on the team, you can come over here. You have the LR Bojack that you could bring. Um, the LR Bro Bojack with the TUR variant. You can either bring the TUR Bojack, the Intelligence one, or the Agility one. It's up to you on if you want to bring that. They link for five link skills. I just, uh, just, uh, I just decided to bring the Agility one over the Intelligence one just to show you that you could have him here. Um, they have a whole bunch of key links that they share with each other. Korra is definitely going to be someone primary because he's a very good leader. He's a 120 leader, and he has a really good, like, passive. Uh, he links very well with the intelligence, well, the technique, Golden Frieza. I don't know why I'm getting all these attributes mixed up. Um, he, they share, what, 4 key and 30% attack buff, and this Frieza tanks everything. And Korra can tank pretty well. I mean, it's not his primary purpose, but he can. Um, and Korra also links very well with Janemba for 4 key, uh, with 4 link skills as well transformation so they get an hp recovery they get the 25% uh, big bad bosses two key an additional 15% really not that bad of a setup you have the lr broly with his tur variant obviously they share the six link skills together so they are going to be doing very well together and then in terms of support uh you have well you can't really run this turles over here because you already have turles on your team i put them up there by mistake i took them off the other uh three guides that i had up over there um so you have this Korra over here if you want to bring him um, you have the Turles, obviously your friend Turles. These two are definitely going to be on your team primarily. If you're trying to run a full movie bosses team, I guess you could throw whoever else you want over there. Personally, my choice would be like maybe throw a Janemba on the side because he's going to tank. He may not be able to give support to anyone else, but he'll at least tank. It has a chance to dodge. You could also put the intelligence one there if you happen to have him. Um, and he does link well with a lot of these guys. Plus, remember, he's just, he just going to be there and he's pretty much going to take nothing. Um, overall, that's everything with LRs you could have up over there. Um, this this Technique Korra is also pretty good. He does link well with his freeze. I wanted him up over here just to show. Um, and he also, Korra does also link, as I said before, with the Turles. So I just had him on there. In terms of non-LR team, this is probably something else that you could run. You have the Great Ape Turles or the regular Turles. Um, I would personally choose the Korra with the Tech Gold and Frieza. And this team over here on the right-hand side. Now you do have an option. If you don't want to run the Janemba, if you want, if you don't care because this is an extreme unit, you can just swap it out. And I personally would do this. I would take full power Frieza. I would take the Golden Frieza out. And I'd throw full power Frieza up on there. They link very well together. He does get a nice buff. It's not 150% buff, but it's a decent buff nonetheless. Uh, he already has a ridiculous passive skill, especially with his new Extreme Z Awakening. If you guys want to take advantage of that, uh, these two will link very well together. Another good support uh, unit will be the Demon King Piccolo. Now, I do have a list that I'm going to go over in a second for good um, good support units for a mono extreme team. Uh, but this is probably a team that I would really consider running. Everyone here is a movie boss except for these two. It kind of sucks you're not getting that buff, but you're at least getting 50% buff. And this chorus is going to really be pulling your team. Korra and the Great Ape Trellis is definitely going to be pulling your team. Everyone else is just going to be giving you the buffs and key that is needed. Um, in terms of, I guess, support units that you can run on this team, uh, because they're extreme types, is going to be Demon King Piccolo. Uh, this Korra over here, you have Jice that's just came out, who is a support unit, and this Toa. So you do have some options. Toa is, I believe, like attacking or 
Uh, let's see, attack and defense plus 25% and a small key buff. Uh, Jice, I believe, is a, just a 20% buff for, yeah, key plus 2, attack plus 20% up. Um, and then you have the Korra and the Demon King Piccolo. Demon King Piccolo is key plus 3, attack plus 25% up, and the Korra is key plus 2, attack plus 30% up. So you have some choices. You do have a lot of choices for team building here, uh, just because he does just the extreme, uh, extreme type uh, allies. So, uh, with the, in terms of the buffs. But overall, really up to you. Let me know if I forgot of anything. In terms of support units especially, because um, I might have missed it. I went off the wiki, and the wiki page is not complete because there's a lot of people who can do support. Uh, I guess you could also throw on there, like, key orb manipulators if you really wanted to. But personally, it would either be this or this. Uh, this freeze is interchangeable with the golden freeze. Because that golden freeze does have a, a, a passive skill that's actually viable. It's just not as amazing as the, the physical golden freeze or the physical final form freeze. But attack plus 70% up, so it's not horrible. Plus he tanks and he um, gets the 150% the buff from the leader ability. But anyway, guys, it's up to you. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let me know what teams you're running. Let me know if this was helpful for you. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me here today. I'll catch you down in the comments below. Peace.